Okay, one important thing that I forgot to mention in the last video is that you have to click on this publish button to actually publish your extension to the web store. So once you have your draft ready, click on this publish button. All right, so for the last part of the series, I thought that I would give you all some insight into some of the sample extensions that Google provides for us to have a look at. So go to developer.chrome.com slash extensions slash samples and over here we can download and have a look at the code of some of the extensions. And for beginners, I would recommend you go through page redder. Uh, this is a very simple extension that just changes the background color of the body tag to red. Again, very simple and very useful for a beginner. And the other thing is the icon changer. So this is a browser action which changes its icon when clicked. So basically you have a browser action icon and every time you click on this, the icon changes. So pretty good one. And finally, some of the APIs that you can have a look at to start with your own extension. Let's say you can use the alarms API, maybe to send a notification every half an hour or one hour to maybe stretch your legs or drink water. And we already had a look at context menus. Let's see what else. Declarative content. So this is something similar to the page action where you can specify when a particular page action, page action icon should be highlighted. So again, this page action by URL is a very good one. And the other things, let's see, you can have a look at the Omnibox. So this right here is called the Omnibox and any functionality you want to have with that, you can use this Omnibox API. And then you can also have extensions that work on the DevTools. So DevTools.Panels, for example, Scratch.js. And if you did visit my ES6 tutorials, you would find that Scratch.js actually is an extension that works in the DevTools. And let's see what else. Finally, we can have a look at this TTS and TTS engine related to text to speech, where you can not only specify what has to be spoken, but in what language and in what voice. So there are a couple of voices that you can use to make Chrome speak the selected text. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this series and learned a lot about Chrome extensions. And if you do create your own extension, do leave a comment. I would love to hear from that. And yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel and until next time, take care.